Here we are at the City of Champions, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Pittsburgh Vipers looking to take on the Los Angeles Comets. Hello? All right, it's working. All right, just making sure that the microphone works. But here we are, the season begins here and now the Los Angeles Comets in for a ride as they have a few new acquisitions. Pittsburgh Vipers, the reigning champions, looking to bring this one back into town and bring a W into their back pocket to continue on the season. Let's get to know these two teams on the ice and what their rosters consist of. First and foremost, Los Angeles Comets. We got Laugh Track, the captain, once again, heading up the sea on the jersey, making sure to keep it cream, making sure to keep it crispy. He's going to be doing God's work out there on the ice as they take on the Vipers this afternoon. Of course, he's got Doug from the Colorado Cobras, top goal scorer, top saves maker from that department. He's going to be playing the three. Mike's expectation he's going to be playing the three here this afternoon. Of course, they got Derek. They got Case Mark, two great veterans from the SBL community, very respected, very loved. And uh, I think it's going to be an interesting to see which of those two players will be taken to the ice here. First and foremost, they'll be on the left side in their purple jerseys. Thank you, Irvion, for giving us the color mod here this season. Uh, it's going to be a wild trip for us here on the ice this afternoon on the SBL Network. My name is Darth. Don't think I threw it out there quite yet. But uh, for the Pittsburgh Vipers, same four that won the Cup last season. They're going to look to do it again here this time around. Eli captaining the main three players, Henry, Christian, and Milk. It's going to be a wild ride. Will they be able to pull off the two-time, or will they go home without a second shot in the dark? Only time will tell. Taking a look at the leading scores from last season, Laugh Track doing God's work out there on the offensive side of the puck. 38% of his team's goals last season came from his own stick. 42 of those in the regular season, finding the way into the back of the net. 71 points on the total of 20 games played for Laugh Track. Of course, Henry was a fiend on the offensive side of the puck as well, scoring 96 goals in his 26 games played through the regular season, through the postseason. 36% of the goals tallied last season from the Vipers came from Henry's tip of the tongue. And uh, I think he's going to be doing it yet again here this afternoon. 191 points is nothing to snuff at during the regular and postseason of any season, no matter what division you're in. And Henry is doing it at the top of the top, the best of the best. He's doing it in pro. He's doing it loud. He's doing it proud. He's doing it just like Al always has. But uh, it's going to be a tight one, going to be a rough one. These are my two players to watch here this afternoon, and uh, it's going to be a wild ride. If you're not sure how SPL is structured and how our divisions are laid out, we're going to be watching a pro division matchup. There's only one conference up there. Eight teams will be in that conference. And, of course, everybody plays everybody two times for a total of 16 games played in the regular season. Same with the challenger division, but that's for a later conversation. But, um... It's going to be a tight one. Will Eli set foot on the ice? I'm trying to keep my ears open for that one, but who's to say uh, until it comes time to be? But uh, nonetheless, it's going to be a tight one, going to be a rough one, going to be a lot of boards to bang along. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what's going to happen here this afternoon. Comet's got a whole new lineup, got a whole new name, got a whole new face, and uh, they're going to be looking to take it down there on the ice. These are our eight teams in the Pro Division. Um, Columbus Clappers keeping basically the same. They got spills this season off the Plymouth Plague, so I hope they're going to uh, put them to work there on the offensive side of the puck. Instead of Lemon Bond, they have, um, they have spills on the offensive side to try to bring home the bag. Edmonton Beauties. Uh, Gifted their spot from Kylar's position. The former Maui Monkeys, now Edmonton Beauties, find themselves in pro. It's going to be a steep hill for them to climb here this season, but I think they got the gumption to do it um, here as the season progresses on. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, we got about seven minutes be before the puck drops here this afternoon. Los Angeles, the away team. Pittsburgh, the home team. Pittsburgh will be defending right. Los Angeles defending left. That's at a later time, though. Los Angeles Comets here tonight. They got a few big names. I'm excited to see Doug and Laugh Track play. Ever since I stepped foot in the Casters booth and I saw both these players in the pro division, I've always wanted them to team. And luckily, I get my wish here this season. Um, looking forward to seeing what their dynamics are as the season progresses. Last season, Comets had a rough one. Um, didn't really finish where they wanted to be. They were in a relegation spot. And... Um, I think that really hurt them in the long run. They had a new, they had new uh, dynamics to develop through last season, and of course, Jabu not coming back, having a few other uh, question marks on the boards as well. Kaisfire not playing a whole lot of games last season neither. Um, maybe he's looking to make a return. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just looking to hang out with a few friends while uh, while they play pro. That's up for him to decide, and up up for us to watch and observe as the season progresses on. Of course, New Jersey Noobs promoting from the Challenger Division last season. Ocean City Typhoons remain with a few new roster changes. Uh, more on that at a later date. And then, of course, tonight, Pittsburgh Vipers, reigning champions. We'll see if they can defend their title here in season number six of SPL's finest rebound inauguration. And so um, they got the same four. They're the only team to stay the same during the offseason. And uh, because of that, high expectations for them. Plymouth Plague, new captain. Who dis? We got Kyler heading up the uh, captaincy spot from T. Handed that one off during the offseason. Of course, he's got Kylar in blue from the Maui Monkeys playing on his roster. They only got three. Maybe they're looking for a fourth man. Hit up Kyler. For any uh, inquiries in that department, 
But uh, nonetheless, Plymouth Plague, new face, new captain, new team all around. Basically, Maui Monkeys with Kyler on it. But I'm not looking forward to casting that one because of Kyler and Kylar's dynamic. Just having a one-letter difference, making me a little bit self-conscious about it. Yo, Simdy Grizzlies last on the list because they start with a Y in their name. Uh, they got Rambone, Bombs Green, and Windy Skies here. The original four back together. I'm hopeful for that team this season. And uh, I think they're going to do great work up there in the Pro Division. But of course... Um, you got, got to keep your eye on Milk. Milk's a fan favorite here in the SBL Network, and uh, I think he's going to be the man to watch down there on the ice. He's going to be the difference maker. I think he's going to score six. I think he's going to score six this matchup. It's a wild shot in the dark, but I think he's got it in him, and I think he's going to be able to put it out there on the pond and, uh, you know, just let it simmer for a bit. But, um, yeah, so i got about five minutes before the drop of the puck. I've already run through my pregame notes, so uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys have for dinner? <laughs> Blue, please don't do that. I don't need another Kyler. <laughs> um, did anyone start a prediction? I'll get one going. Don't don't even think about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even sweat it. It's yeah. We're all giving out the 13-3, the 12-2 score. Um, I apologize if in the background you hear the Penguin game. I'm a Pittsburgh fan, and uh, it's playoff season. Um, wild ride over in that department. But uh, if you guys hear the if you guys hear the commentary, point it out. And I'll turn down the TV a little bit, and I uh, will ride on. Uh, Christian FF, Henry, and Milk, the starting three for the Pittsburgh Vipers here this afternoon. Eli sitting on the bench, hanging out in the booth here with me. And uh, Los Angeles Comets still not in the building quite yet as uh, they're looking to get it revved up and getting ready to go. Yeah, Goo Goo Gaga, I want some milk. I want to see that copy pass at least three times in the matchup. I, I feel like, you know... <laughs> it really brings life to the atmosphere, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that, both sides, um, what you can expect from... I don't... If I knew what to expect from the Comets lineup this season, uh, I could give you guys a lot uh, better uh, inside scoop on what we might expect to see this matchup. Of course, Pittsburgh Vipers, they play the offensive triangle very well. They keep their passing lanes open and take whatever you give them. And uh, in a game where it's three on three, you, you got to give the other team a lot. You got to keep a guy on the shot lane. You got to keep a guy on each passing lane and maybe another guy to challenge you. You need four guys to play against three in slap shot. And so the Pittsburgh Vipers know this. They've kept it their game style ever since I am. And uh, because of that, I think they're one of the hardest teams to play against. That's what they won a championship on, and that's what they're going to probably going to be playing with uh, in mind here this afternoon. But um, only time will tell. That's my expectation is Pittsburgh are going to play the possession game, and they're going to win because of it. Los Angeles Comets got to play a high-impact uh, transition game if they're going to uh, compete with SPL's finest. And, um, you know, it's going to be a game of adjustments as the match goes on. Will the Comets, back ch will the Comets be able to back check against the Vipers for check? And uh, if they can, will the Comets be able to make those um, transactions into goals? That's really the biggest question down there on the ice. Will Laugh Track start diamond them up on the post? Will Doug be able to save the shots that are going to be slewed onto the Comets' side of the ice? Pittsburgh Vipers have been a shot-first mentality for the longest time. They've been one of the first teams to have put up 20 shots in a game that I have seen in my career of casting this game. And um, you might do it again here tonight. If they're going to put me to work on the shot counter. That is a given. And, um, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a tight one. I really don't know. <laughs> Blue's saying, I'd be swimming if the Comets win. Imagine, though. Imagine. Odds are not in the Comets' favor. 44,000 channel points for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Los Angeles Comets having 300. I think those are all from Blue. But uh, if you're a betting man, throw a couple couple cents down on the, on the Comets. I mean, worst case scenario, you know... You just don't get them back. Put 30 down. See what happens. You get 300 from following. It's time to slap, as Dennis has said. We're one minute away from the drop of the puck. Comet's still not in the lobby. They're probably in a pub warming up. They need to be warm for this matchup, or else uh, they're in for a ride of a lifetime. 
But yeah, if you're just tuning in, starting the lineup for the Pittsburgh Vipers, Christian FF, Henry, and Milk. Taking a look at the leading scores from last season between these two teams. Of course, Doug was not on this team last season, nor was Derek. Laugh track, heading up the goals column. Um, out of the team's goals scored, 36% of them came from Henry Stick for the Pittsburgh Vipers, and 38% of the team's goals came from Laugh Track. And uh, so if you put those two things into perspective, it's going to come down to who plays where. Will Laugh Track have to play the two this season? Will he just play the one like he did last season? Last season, the Comets didn't really have designated spots up until I think it was week four or five. They were really in the figure it out stage. They're once again in that rink. Um, Kate Spire might be back. He might not be. It might be Derek playing tonight. But nonetheless, Laugh Track and Doug, I guarantee, will be on the ice for this matchup. And they're going to need every inch they can take from the Pittsburgh Vipers here this afternoon. But um, it's going to be wild. It's going to be... I, I really don't know what's going to happen this season. Expectations are through the roof and through the floor at the same time. Um... Yeah, I mean, if this if the Mallards were in this game, easily, easily able to predict who's going to be winning it. But, um, yeah. Website says away, but it's, hey, I told you guys at home because that's what I have you guys set up as. I'll, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Don't even sweat it. All right. <laughs> Darth, what was for dinner? I had some hamburger helper. See, I had some rocking hamburger helper. Me and my dad sat down and watched the first period of the game while eating. It was awesome. How's it going, Irvion? But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight impact game. I don't know if it's gonna be a mercy roll or not. It's just one one game that I would consider to be a wild card here in week number one. There's a lot of week one matchups that are just a, a shot in the dark. There's a lot of things, a lot of questions up in the air. Uh, Ocean City Typhoons, word on the street is they're going to try to postpone all of their week one matches to week two, and the season is beginning. Um, yeah, a few matchups that I, I had my eyes on was the Noobs and the Grizzlies. That's going to be an interesting one. I really want to cast that one. Hopefully the site's updated with it. The Noobs in Challenger, one of the most responsible teams that I've ever come in contact with. Brutal is very upfront with all of his information and tickets. I love him to death as a captain. Really makes my job a lot easier, keeping us in the loop. But, um, you know, a few matchups that I really want to watch. You know, the Clappers and the Grizzlies, a tale as old as time itself going to be happening here in week number one of course typhoons comets a really big matchup really interested in that one um uh what other one did i want to take a d deep dive into um beauties and plague would be interesting because that's a lot of west talent on the ice at least four out of the six players playing in the plague in the beauties game would have natively come from the west coast kylar now living up along the east coast doug Derek, and laugh track have just entered the lobby I, the gears of time are starting to rev up. It's 9.03 in the afternoon here in the East Coast of America. And so, um, you know, when they're ready, we'll, we'll pop it down to center ice. Yeah, Derek starting his first game since, you know, the dinosaurs roamed the earth. We'll see uh, how, how he handles the heat from Pittsburgh. Okay, starting lineup from both six from all six parties on the ice if you're just not tuning in comments will be defending the left cage laugh track derek and doug starting for that team vipers will be defending the right cage henry christian and milk starting with the three slots for the pittsburgh vipers all six parties ready to rock all six parties ready to roll we're taking this one down to center ice where 15 minutes of slap shot will transpire between these two teams the puck has dropped the game is on and time is ticking why doesn't the clock work I'm confused. Why doesn't the clock work? Uh, let me see if I can figure this out. There we go. We got the clock working. We're in it to win it. Just like Steve Harvey has always said. Derek, down to laugh track. Trying to take this one along the wall. Off the back end. Here's Christian pulling this one out and away. Off the back end. Shot rings off the post and wide. So it comes back out and around town. We have Henry back on the defensive swing, trying to get this one down the near side. Pop to the top side. Here's Milk with it now. Pulls this one away from the wall. Back down to the near side to Henry. Henry shooting. Goes off to the far side corner. Christian trying to jam this one in on the far side post. As this one comes back out the other way. Henry takes this one as it was wide of the puck. Or wide of the net. Taking this one down to the near side. Derek trying to keep on the passing lane. Backhand pass goes out of the zone. Dug out the other way. Trying to pull this one out. Not able to get past the opposition. It comes out and around town to the top side of the ice. We'll have our opportunity elsewhere. 
Christian pulls this one away off the back end, trying to get live track to zig one way as he zags the other. Live track pulls this one back in his own defensive pocket. So he gets this one down the near side. Let's get rid of that mini map. I'm not a huge fan of that. There we go. We're rocking. Here's Milk with an owl. Down to the near side. Henry chop top side out over to Christian. Christian here down low in the enemy zone, trying to get this one down to the near side here in the first period of action. Christian forehand goes off Derek. Derek here at his own blue line. Looks to tread his way down the near side. Henry here pulls this one off the backhand pocket over to Christian. Christian here with a backhand feed out to the top side. Good shot by Milk, but not able to get that one to go. Christian pulls it off the backhand. Henry shooting goes off the dime bag and wide to the cage. Christian with a backhand shot goes off Doug. Here's Christian with an owl with a backhand feed. Milk takes it out at the red line. Down to the near side. A good shot attempt goes off Derek. Henry here trying to pop that one through the, the traffic, but it gets stumbled along through the legs. Live track to Doug. Doug, the former Colorado man himself, tries to get this one off the far side. Henry takes it away. Backhand shot. Scores! And the Vipers take an early 1-0 lead. I just realized I didn't set up the scoreboard. Does not matter. We're in it to win it. We got three achievements to show for it. And look at us go, Mom. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but uh, Irv was here to witness it, so uh, do as you might. Another shot, another goal coming downtown. Christian FF makes it 2 nothing for the Vipers. What a shot, what a goal, and what a way to tag two back of the cage and start us off on the right foot for the Pittsburgh season. Three minutes remaining here in the first period of action. Comets looking for an answer on the offensive side of the puck and the defensive side. Doug trying to find a solution to the problems. Derek here on the near side tries to battle along. Milk here's live track with a backhand feed. Goes off the stick of Milk. Milk here with possession. Out to Henry. Shoot scores. And another goal into the twine here in the first. It's 3-0 Pittsburgh. Just opportunity after opportunity. Finding a way to get it back into the cage. Pittsburgh Vipers. Playing the offensive side of the puck almost perfectly here this afternoon. Henry trying to break this one free as it comes down to the near side. Milk here chips this one back defensively to Christian. Top side to Henry. Henry drives on. Shoots. Scores. Another one. Another drop into the ocean. The Pittsburgh Vipers with their fourth shot and their fourth goal. Comets looking for an answer back on the defensive side of the puck, but there are none to be had. Two minutes, 34 seconds remain in the first period of action. Comets just looking to survive right now. Milk drives, shoots, Doug there with a save. Brings this one out to the far side corner. Laugh track goes off Henry. Henry trying to just hold W and pray for a goal. Goes through and Doug with the first goal for the Los Angeles season. Look at him go. Somebody get him a cookie. Good shot, good goal, and a good way to finish that one off. The lead's down to three. Oh, Henry right from the drop of the hats. Only three seconds expiring off the clock between the goals. And Henry might have one of the quickest answers in SPL history, at least for this season. 5-1, Pittsburgh leading. Henry chopping this one along the board over to Derek. Derek here with a backhand feed, finds his captain out along the far side, goes off a body, shoots, scores! Off the face of Henry, and oh boy, how do you do? We find ourselves a mailman getting the bag to town. Good shot, good goal. Comets two, Pittsburgh five. Milk here with a forehand shot. Goes off a body, almost scoring on himself. Lab track, very mindful of his body in his situational awareness. Three goals now the gap. Pittsburgh still in the lead. We'll see how long that stays the same. Christian, Derek, battle along the top side boards over to Henry. Henry shovels this one down over to Milk. Milk here trying to dance his way down the near side off the back end. Looking for that feed back in the neutral zone. Just taking his time, looking for the passing lane that's open. Doug looking for the dump down, trying to get its way over to Derek. Derek out of front, Lifejack shoots, hits the post. That one goes wide. Oh my goodness, I can't get much closer than that without scoring. Doug, over to Derek. Derek here takes his time. Christian here with a touch on that one. Derek here with a little zig, little zag. Not able to get around Henry on that one. This one comes out the far side over to Milk. Milk here with it now. Goes over to Laugh Track. Laugh Track here with possession. Plays with fires. He takes this one topside off the hand of Doug. Doug, Henry, down to the near side. Finding his way back over to Milk. Milk here with it now. Pittsburgh Vipers trying to dance his way in. Derek there shutting the door on the offensive side. Milk off the forehand. Down low behind enemy lines. Looking for a call to make for his commander. Goes off Doug. Doug keeping this one out of the way of harm. Uh, Comets bringing this one out the other way. Christian with a nice control. Goes off Derek. Derek here with a shot. Goes off to Henry. Over to that laugh track. Laugh track shoots off the far side and wide. 60 seconds remain here in the first period of action. 2-5. to five. Pittsburgh leads. Here's Milk with an owl. Takes this one top side. Goes over to Derek. Derek here with the backhand feed. Able to shovel this one in offensively. Henry. Tip of the stick down over to Milk. Milk here with a little swing of the stick. Not able to get past Doug. Doug goes past Laugh Track. Henry here with possession for the boys in blue. Laugh Track gets it back. Shoots it into the far side corner. Gets a little bit of time to breathe. 38 seconds remain here in the first. Here's Christian for the Vipers. Looks towards the top side. Off the backhand feed. Goes off Doug. Doug here with a little fake. Shoots. Hits the post. That one goes wide. Here's Henry with 27 to work with. 
Looks down to the near side for a little bit of opportunity. Here's Derek taking this one back towards the neutral zone. Gets past one, not able to take the feed off his back end. Good stick possession there by Doug. Goes off Henry. Henry here to the top side of the ice. Tips this one through. Traffic goes off Flav track into the corner. Here's Christian FF with it now, trying to pull this one away from the neutral zone into the corner. Here's Doug with an out. Backhand feed out to Laugh Track. Goes off his hip over to Henry. Henry there chops this one northways. Laugh Track dumps it out. And that's the end of the first period of action. Comments at two. Vipers at five. At the end of one here in the Viper Zone. Good shot so far from both sides of the ice. Vipers piling on the, the offensive side of the puck. Holy cow. Ten shots to the three. That's something to behold. That, that wasn't set up. Don't worry about that. Six parties ready to rock. Six parties ready to roll. We're back down town here at the Viper Zone. Both teams ready to rock and ready to roll in the second period of action. The puck's dropped. The game's on. And it is rumbling once again. Viper's defending right. Comet's defending left. Henry losing that stick battle against Laugh Track. Milk goes off Laugh Track. Laugh Track down the near side trying to get this one through the red line. Milk here just throwing a wrench into the clockwork. Henry shoots. Nice save by Doug. Doug to the top side. Christian to get past him. Shoot scores. And another goal. The sixth of the night for the Pittsburgh Vipers. What a shot. What a goal. What a steal from Christian. Takes the most of that opportunity and takes it to the bank. Changes that one for a six dollar. 25 seconds into this period. Oh, what a shot. Doug with a save. How long the post laugh track there to answer it as well. The two shots from Pittsburgh goes by the wayside. There it comes to town. What a shot. What a goal. Three to six. Look at him go. People caught him washed up, but no, he was just doing the laundry. The gap's back down to three. Los Angeles making sure they're not going anywhere here in this matchup. It's still within reach. Vipers trying to sniff it out with that attack. Henry not able to pull the trigger on that shot as that one's chopped down into the Pittsburgh territory. Here's Henry with it now. Henry backhand feed. Good shot. Would have been on. Derek there with an, or Doug there with a nice stop. And Derek there to finish it off. Two goals the difference. It's a handsome handful. What a shot by Doug. Henry thought he had it. Derek there to steal it away. That's how fairy tales are made. Ten goals have been had. Six from Pittsburgh. Four from Los Angeles. Derek looking to make it another one here with this next driving attack. Christian FF trying to make him stumble with that one. Laugh track. Hitting this one down into the corner. Christian Henry one on one with Doug. Gets past Doug. Shoots. He scars. And the Pittsburgh Vipers doing what they do best. And that's get pucks to the net and score some goals. A good forehand shot going a long way. And that zig right in the neutral zone is all that mattered in that play. Second period of action, long from being over. Three goals, now the difference once again. Here's Derek with a forehand feed, goes off Christian. Laugh track, pulls it away, over to Doug. Oh, what a steal by Henry. Goes off to the near side boards as the battle continues. Milk here with the backhand feed out to Christian. Christian pulls, looks for the backhand shovel, not able to send that one packing. Here's Laugh track, goes off Milk. Milk here in the slot, shoot scores! And another one for the Vipers. Oh, look at them go. It's 8-4 to four here in the Viper Zone. Derek winning this one back off the faceoff drop. Dumps this one down and in for Doug. Doug looks to the near side for a little bit of opportunity. Forehand wraparound. Stopped by Christian there at the post. This one comes back down. Here's Christian with it now. Christian. Playing fancy with it back in his own defensive end. Bank pass out to Henry. Henry here off the forehand. Takes this one down to the near side. Backhand wrap around through the crease. Christian with a shot. Nice save by Laugh Track. Oh, it comes out into the far side corner. And they continue to do battle. Laugh Track gets a step on him off the back end. Trying to get this one away from Christian by any means necessary. Gave him a $5 bill. Milk with a shot. Goes off to the near side and wide. Henry pulls this one back to the defensive zone. Here's Milk with an now in the neutral. Top side drives in for the Vipers. Milk here with it now. Down in the corner. Doug here with a step on him. Tries to take this one off the backhand pocket. Forehand shot stopped by Henry. And the neutral zone return fire. Hits the far side of the cage and goes wide. Here's Laugh Track with an out. The forehand feet goes over to Derek. Derek here with a little panhandle. Giving us a little sauce action down in the near side boards. Henry with a bank pass out to Milk. Milk stopped by Laugh Track. Here's Henry with an out at his own blue line. Looks for the top side. This one comes back to Christian. Christian to the near side. Laugh Track tries to get this one offensively minded for the boys in purple. A shot attempt. Wide of the cage off the near. Christian takes this one off the back side of his own cage. Out to the near side. Here's Henry with an now. Henry into the corner. Finds Milk. Doug with a stick, touch of the stick into the far side corner. This one comes back out to Christian. Christian to Henry. Henry here for the Pittsburgh Vipers. With a four goal lead. Looking to make it five. Top side out to Christian. Christian FF with a shot down to the near side corner. Milk over to Henry. Henry with a forehand backhand offer opportunity. The live track there sniffing that one out in the dark. Christian 
to the near side. Henry back in feed over to Milk. Milk here, stop, pull, shoots, nice save by Doug. Henry with a shot goes off a of body and wide. Here's Derek back in his own defensive side for the Los Angeles Comets. Off the top side. Here's Milk with an out. Gets past one. Meets Henry along the way. Just a little joy ride there for the boys in blue. Laugh track goes off the Christian. Over to Henry. Back in his own defensive corner. Here's Henry with it now. Derek there. Playing softly in the offensive zone. Making sure to let Henry make the first mistake. Off the stick of Doug. Goes over to Milk. Milk here trying to spin a Rama. That one back into his possession. And he'll do just that with a minute 25 here in the second. Dangles near side. Milk here rifles that one. That one goes off a of body and wide. Here's Doug. Down low his own defensive end. Chucks that one out into the offensive end. Here's Henry with it now. Off to the near side. Going over to Doug. Doug with a shot goes into the far side corner. Derek here pulling this one away from the boards. Henry there to meet and greet him along the wall. Here's Christian with it now. Off the forehand. Back in. Doug with a stop. Henry with a little panhandle there. Able to take this one down to the corner. 60 seconds. All that remains on the clock here tonight. For the boys in the side. Oh, what a play. Doug, Derek, Laugh Track. Everybody gets on the score sheet for that one. Goal number five comes to the hands of Laugh Track. What a play by Derek. A great first pass, a great second pass, and an even greater goal. We're back within three here in the Berg. Laugh Track gets a step, looks for the opportunity. Henry there sniffs that one in the corner. Henry to Milk. Pull, shoot, scores. And an immediate answer to the Comets goal. The Vipers back on top, nine to five. Here in the second. 19 shots to seven. All you really need to know about the game right now. Comets don't shoot often, but when they do, they're hitting their mark. Laugh track, stopped by Henry. Henry chops that one out north ways for the boys in blue. Doug there to meet and greet that one back for Los Angeles on the defensive side. Doug here to the near side. Off the boards with 30 seconds remaining. Here's Christian. Christian out in front. Goes past Henry. Out to Derek. Derek holds his way through. Milk there takes it away. Laugh track fumbles it. Oh, what a shot saved by Henry. Milk with a bank pass down north ways. Looking for Christian FF as he battles against Doug for that one. Over to Derek. Derek banks that one off the boards. Milk there takes it away. Over to Doug. Doug here for the comet. Shoots. Stopped by Henry. Here's Milk to the top side corner. Dumping this one down and in. Here's Doug with it now for Los Angeles. Five seconds remain here in the second. Laugh track. Top side. Derek. Pulls it away, and that is all she wrote for the second period of action. Los Angeles sticking to their guns. Four goals, the gap, 9-5 to five is the score. And the Los Angeles Comets looking to get it done here in the third. Ten shots have made it to the net from the Los Angeles Comets. And they're doing God's work as they know how to do it. Third period of action, ready to rock, ready to roll. Down at center ice here in the Viper zone. Pittsburgh on the right, Los Angeles on the left. The puck is dropped, and the game is on. This faceoff goes out to the top side. Derek down to the near side. Finds his way over to Doug. Doug with a shot. Goes off Christian. Christian here to the near side. Finds his way back for Pittsburgh. To the top side over to Henry. Henry here with it now at his own goal line. Looks to sink his way down to the near side. Tries to get a, get, tries to get a pick past Derek, but not finding a whole lot of luck in his favor. Forehand shot goes wide of the cage. Almost able to send that one on. Milk here trying to get this one out to the shot lane. Z so takes his talent to the slot and then to the top side corner. Laugh track. Able to fumble that one free for the boys in purple. Sent down to the near side. Derek Henry exchange com compliments back at the point. Christian trying to get a step on the opposition. Top side shooting. Hits a snow. Oh, what a save by Life Track. Keeping this one into the corner. Doug all alone. Forehand shot. Derek holds. Oh, almost able to send that one in off the dome. Derek looks to the near side as he picks this one up off the boards. Here's Christian with it now. Four minutes, 10 seconds remaining in regulation. Nine to five. Our score. Pittsburgh in the lead over Los Angeles. Laugh track. Pulls this one back downtown for Los Angeles. Here's Christian for Pittsburgh. Off the backhand. Gets this one northways. Goes over to Milk. Milk here takes this one back. Neutral zone. Laugh track had a chance, but not the angle he needed. Shoot that one on the barn. Here's Christian with it now. Looking to send this one out the near side boards. Able to do so. Milk here trying to fight for this one along the boards with Doug. Laugh track shooting off the far side and into the corner. Here's Derek. Henry to the near side. Forehand shot goes off Doug. Doug trying to pull this one out and away. Henry Stangles, oh, right in the zone. He's able to pocket that one out to the top side for some extra change. Vipers at 10, Comets at 5, and that's how you play some good old-fashioned slap shot. I forgot, I can't push the X button. This is a new song that plays. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we're back in the hot seat now. Third period of action, long from being over. Three minutes, 30 remains. You're in regulation. Doug, to the point. Finds Derek. Derek with a shot. Nice save by Henry. Here's Henry to the top side. A nice backhand feed. Milk. Oh, not able to pull the trigger. He's face palming the desk right now. He snapped it in half. The router's out the window. He's never going to see it again. Time to buy a new controller. All right, he's back. 10 to 5. Pittsburgh in the lead. 
Derek looks to the top side, looks to get this one past Henry. Henry's looking to do it himself. Here's Doug with it now back on the defensive side, hands it back to his captain. Laugh track. Off the forehand, trying to get away from Milk. Milk wants his lunch money in his Pidgeotto cart. Derek shoots. Nice save by Christian. Bringing this one out and around town. Here's Derek with an out backhand feed. Oh, what a shot. Derek still in the goal. Getting it done on the offensive side. The Comets back in the saddle. Four goals of difference. They're not giving up yet, Larry. Man, what a, what a match to start us off here in the season. Great stuff for both sides of the ice. Neither team wanting to go down without a fight in the dark. And uh, we're seeing that case in point. Comets are a new face this season. They're not going to relegate here this time around. Oh, Christian with a try on that one. But not able to send that one packing. Here's Henry with it now. Off the top tip of the stick of Derek as this one sent out to Christian. Christian down into the corner. Here's Doug with it now. Laugh track. Pulling this one off the back end as this one sent off the far side boards. I'm a little distracted. But anyway, uh, going out to Milk. Milk here with a touch on this one. 217 remains here in the third. Milk. Looking towards the top side, Derek not giving him anything easy to shoot at as he siphons that one out to Chris. Christian Henry holds, shoot, scores! A goal number 11 for the Pittsburgh Vipers. You can guarantee you're seeing at least two of these three in the three stars of the week at the end. Man, you can't score more than they do. Five goals now, the gap. Los Angeles looking to get it done. The puck's been, will it be fixed? It did, and... Irvion, best developer. Henry, best offenseman. 12 goals now for the Pittsburgh Vipers. I can't believe the pucks are down. I, I I, felt like, I felt like, you know, the bean puck update really was just removing Hero Brian from Minecraft. But uh, here we saw case in point. Hero Brian is no more. Milk shoots, milk scores, and it's 13 6, and this game might be over. A minute 55 remains. And it's only up to time itself to see what might happen next. Almost gave me a heart attack. That's what I'm saying, Herb. <laughs> a good shit. Doug almost sending that one on. 6-13. to 13. Pittsburgh Vipers looking to do it again. Doug with a backhand shot. Oh, almost able to go in. Christian FF getting enough of that one to keep it wide. Derek point shot. And almost able to send that one in was laugh track. Here's Henry to the top side with a minute 35 here in the third period. Here's Milk with a forehand shovel. Goes along the end wall. Goes over to Derek. Derek in the corner battling against Christian. Out to the point. Here's Doug with it now. Goes over to Henry. Henry back for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Pulling this one out and away. Gets past Doug. What a pass over to Milk. Milk all alone with a forehand feed. Looking for a give and go to his, ca or, uh, his assistant captain. Henry shoots. Scars. Another one to the twine. 14-6. And Pittsburgh have made this, made this game into a marathon. 22 shots, 14 goals. Pittsburgh's offense is untouched. Except for the times they were touched. And they were not on. Anyway, Doug looking to take this one to the house. Not able to leave it there. Christian just standing tall. Laugh track shot goes wide of the cage. Trying to keep this offense down low. Zenry gets a step on the opposition. Christian with a 2-1-1 -on scenario. Pass over topside. Doug back in time to send this one out the other way. Laugh track with the first touch. Taking this one down for the boys in purple. Sends this one topside over to Doug. Doug, forehand. Laugh track. Swing and a miss. Goes off to the near side. Derek finds his way over to Christian. Taking this one out for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Topside Doug out of the defensive into the offensive. Laugh track. Taking this one into the fire. Doug. Milk. Converse in the offensive zone. Doug. Derek with a nice shot attempt. That one goes wide off to the near side. Here's Milk with it now. Looks to the near side. Sent into the corner. Doug here with it now. Trying to get their seventh goal on the board. Playing for pride right now. Doug looks to the top side for an opportunity. He leaks this one out. Derek here with it now. Takes this one tiptoed back around the point. Sends this one down low to Laugh Track. Laugh Track, a big pass. They're looking for the wrap run. Henry with a good stick check there. Freeze that one up over to Christian. Christian at the red line. Dangle. Shoot scores off the post. And it's 15 6. Pittsburgh Vipers doing what they do best. The scoreboard shows it. One more goal. Cannot happen. Henry, 10 seconds. Doug, out the other way. Has a chance. Laugh track in front. Holds it himself. Oh, and in front. Laugh track. Able to send it in. The final pill puts the baby to sleep. And Doug was the man to set it all up. That was a little bit of greed. I felt the greed in there. He just wanted to get it on target. Five seconds remain in the third. 7.15. As the puck is dropped, it goes back into the corner. And that looks like that's going to do it for this game. 7-15. to 15. Pittsburgh Vipers. What a game. Starting off the season strong. With an eight goal difference. 12 shots for Henry. Can you believe that? That is insanity. But nonetheless, a good game from both sides of the ice. Whether or not you agree with that is your decision pretty much on your own. And, um, yeah. Uh, 
want to see if I can set up the individual stat board, because I forgot to do that last night. I set up all this last night, because I knew I was going to be watching the Penguin game uh, before this started. So, um, let me just let me just draw this up, dot the I's, cross the T's real quick. Both teams played fabulously. Much better than I was expecting to see tonight. Comets got a new face, and they're looking to keep it through the regular season. As this one continues on, let's take a look at the individual stats down there on the ice as, um, as the buzzer hits zero. Both teams did fabulously. Um, Derek, first game back in SPL since uh, Noah built the arc. If uh, you don't believe that, just check out your history books. But um, yeah, both teams played phenomenally on both sides of the puck. Doug's takeaway game, not the best in the world. But if you look at the if you look at the Vipers' side of the takeaways and turnovers, it's pretty clean, pretty clear cut why they won this game. Christian had 15 takeaways to his eight turnovers. Milk had 12 to his six. Henry didn't have like any tr uh, turnover game. Either way of the puck, that is, I don't know if that's just because all of his turnovers would have been shots. 12 shots out of 25 is pretty immense if you ask me. But um, nonetheless, both teams doing all they can down there on the ice. Vipers had the better side of the takeaway game, better side of the shot game, and the better side of the goal game at the end of the day. And uh, that's all you can ask for out of your boys down on the ice. Eli smiling, ear to, just grins going ear to ear. He's smiling like his butcher's dog up in the booth. I can see him from here all the way in Baltimore. But, um, you know, it, that's the way she goes. That's the way of the road. And, um, yeah, a common Vipers W. As Father Time has pointed out in the chat. But a uh, good game from both sides of the ice. Comet's got a lot on their plate for this season. Eight teams in the Pro Division. Everybody plays everybody twice in the regular season. Top six make the playoffs. Bottom two relegate. It's going to be a long season here. And uh, we're in it for the long run here on the SPL Network. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all the supporters there. Big names in the red. Big contributors here on the stream and in the wallet, helping the site keep running and helping this league stay alive. Thank you all for your contributions throughout the regular season, postseason, and beyond. Eli, Irvion, JS Tronics, Minnesota, Gubby, Unglued Snail, Maneed, and Q Silver. Q Silver is the reason we have those intermission stats. So big thanks to him. The big thanks to JS Tronics for all he does back behind the scenes. He was the reason we had Color Mod last season, and um, Irvion's the reason we have Color Mod this season. But yeah. Huge thanks to everybody on the screen. If you want your name on there, just sub to the channel. I'll update the list here tomorrow. There's been a lot of subs here this afternoon. Thank you all for your support. I appreciate every single one of you here tonight. And uh, a good game. Good game laugh track. And I uh, hope you have a good season. I'm excited to see the comments this season. As I said in the pre or the uh, the pregame, I've been waiting. I've been dying for a chance to see laugh track and Doug play together. I Ever since the beginning of seeing them in pro, wanted to see it. I got it this season. Um, something, something, wishes and horses, uh, but riders can never ride them. I don't know how that, you know what I'm talking about, Blades. Blades gets me, but. <laughs> yeah, season's young. A lot of adjustments for every team going to be had over the next few weeks. But um, week one is the most exciting. Always as exciting as playoff week. But um, everybody's young, everybody's fresh, everybody's ready to rock in the game. And uh, that much and more coming up uh, tomorrow. But uh, that was our one and only game here this afternoon on the SPL Network. I'm going to go up and watch the rest of the Penguin game. Evgeny Malkin, big man on the ice. Let's see what happens. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. My name's Darth. We'll be back later on. I hope I'll see all of you during our next broadcast. Have a great afternoon, a great evening, and a good night.